Rocky Mountain Permaculture presents Hermabits. Deep in the forest wilderness of western Montana, Rocky Mountain Permaculture explores Paul Wheaton's farm laboratory. Welcome to Wheaton Laboratories. Let's get to work. All right, so after building the woodshed, uh, Tony and Emily just went right to work on building this bee hut. Uh, the idea of a bee hut is, is that um, if you just put a little bit of shelter over the hive, then um, they tend to produce about four times, maybe five times more honey. So uh, a lot of it has to do with the fact that, you know, they're not being rained on, so they're not having to try to keep the hive warmer during a rainstorm. Uh, during a really hot day, then the sun will go over the bee hut for most of the day during the hottest part of the day, and uh, the hive will be shaded a big part of the day. And um, all of this shading will make it so that way uh, the, the, the hive doesn't overheat, because otherwise they'll all have to line up and kind of cool the hive. But now they won't have to worry about cooling the hive. Um, oh, there's a yellow jacket trying to get in. I wonder if they're going to have a little war. I think the, the yellow jacket might sense there's food inside. Um, Tony and Emily built 100% of this beehive and they got a little advice from Tim. And then Tim's wife, Christy, came and helped with the electric fencing around it. The electric fencing is because we have a lot of bears in the area. And bears think that um, beehives are full of candy. They're, they're not necessarily keen on the honey so much. It's the bee larva inside. Um, it's nice and meaty and uh, they'll they'll gobble that up. So um, in the winter time we've got enough space here that we could throw a few straw bales around this and uh, provide a little insulation so it's easier to warm and in the winter time the south is about that way so the sun will come up in the winter time and hit the hive. In fact um, the, the sun will be low and it'll hit the hive all day long and in the summertime the sun will go directly overhead, so the hives will be in the shade probably half the day. So, um, and then it'll be more in the shade in the uh, afternoon, but they'll get that little bit of warmth in the morning, because a lot of times morning is the coldest time of day. Um, and, and a hive is, is, a, is a pretty warm place. So, because uh, the temperature is, is a little easier to control, they're not expending as much energy keeping the keeping the hive the right temperature. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about growing stuff, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Don't touch that mouse until you watch every episode of Rocky Mountain Permaculture's Permabits. Brought to you by RockyMountainPermaculture.com